accounted for. A um, couple other things. The UN has what's called a um, Convention on the Rights of Children. And what that, I gave a video to Laura tonight, and I'm going to share that if somebody wants to borrow that and watch it. Uh, it's very credible. I've met several of the people that actually did that documentary. But what that essentially is, is going to set up for our nation the ability for the UN to come in and tell us how to raise our children. And it essentially does that. And if anybody knows anything about Marxism or communism, they start with the youth. That is their goal. They train up the youth to believe these lies. And that is how they ultimately take over a government. So they are very, very, very fast advancing on this. Um, the UN was actually formed by 16 key U.S. officials uh, in the, in the um, United States government. It's very interesting to, if you go back and really study the history of this, where it came from, because a lot of people, and I've asked people, and they'll think that, oh, it was the other nations, and they came together, and they just wanted world peace. This was created by our own government. This was created by our own government. It's in black and white. Um, the Senate Internal Security Subcommittee reported on that in July 30th of 1953. In that report, those 16 U.S. Uh, elected officials, I don't know if they're necessarily elected, I'm scratch that, they may have been appointed for all we know, but they confirmed in a sworn testimony that they were secret communists. That's very important for us to know. So I'm not going to go into a lot of uh, detail on this tonight. I want you to understand that right now we have a force working against us in, in the United Nations, and, and Andy touched on a little bit with the Libya war and some of these other wars that they're doing that are unconstitutional, that are under the War Powers Act and different things, and, and spreading out and putting our footprint across the entire world. What the ultimate goal is is for the United States to be the world police. And I'm telling you right now, we can't afford that. Because for the, for the United States to be the world police means that we're going to be slaves. Because somebody's going to pay that. And it's just going to raise our taxes. Um, Luger, strong supporter of the UN. He is not a U.S. Senator, Greg. He's a UN Senator. That's who he's working for. That's his goal. So we have got to, people listen, we have got to get engaged. You've got to get to your grandchildren. You've got to get to your children. You've got to get to the neighbor's kids. You've got to get everywhere you can and get some young people involved and get your family and everybody involved in this. This is a very serious state that we're in right now. And when I have uh, lunches and meetings with state senators and, and some other people, uh, like Greg has done, and talk to these people, and they say, you know, I'm worried, I'm scared, and I'm going, you're the one that's supposed to be taking care of all this. That's very concerning for us. So let's get, get behind uh, this effort. Let's get the Tea Parties united, and let's get some things done, and let's regain a constitutional republic. Thank you.